hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to share this uh, thing that's going on uh, paul eneche if you don't know he's a nigerian pastor that i i think he has the biggest church in the world church building so his daughter is i think she's the oldest child and um, shared the post that is causing a bit of an opera right so let me read to you guys what she posted i don't know what country she's in but it's a abroad country right so i'm going to show you guys some of the pictures she posted so she posted uh, this picture right another picture there i think is a mcdonald's or something like that anyways another picture uh, this is another uh, picture uh, that's this one with her showing her shoes you know i'm going to say this right I, I personally sometimes when i see people show like some things online I, like for example showing her shoes personally i always like okay, what is the purpose of that she showed that and then she showed this other picture of a christmas tree and then this one that's her husband behind her there okay and then this one i don't know who's driving they're showing the road okay so definitely it's america okay yeah it's america right and then all of that and then the last one she said hustle until you no longer need to introduce yourself that was what got nigerians triggered we're not all nigerians but i'll read to you guys the comments in a section uh, in a second uh, at the beginning of that she said coffee breaks and road trip so in this one where she said hustle until you no longer need to introduce yourself now you see there's the difference between motivational speakers and people that are supposed to be preachers or doing the things of god about not needing to introduce yourself it has to do with being famous but is it even important to be famous when it comes to christianity is it actually really important to be popular or to be famous should this kind of message be preached when i say preached in the fact let me say it this way because she is a pastor's daughter and i think the ministry thing is what she's doing i actually don't know what she does i remember people have said she's a lawyer or something like that but we know she doesn't practice law right okay so what what is the message when you tell people hustle hard where people need to be able to have food to eat like do well so that you can have a comfortable life have a roof over your head you don't you don't have to be in need so that your needs your as a human being they are met not needing to introduce yourself is not a need that is a superficial thing or i pass my neighbor kind of a thing right so this comment said this is my worry with some of you Debbie, what do you know about hustle? If hustle is that one you are doing, then most people would be riding horses. You have plenty at your disposal. Leave this motivation stuff and focus on your trending dress. I don't know about the trending dress. Maybe there's another story about her. And the next one says, I will hustle until I make myself a name such that my children would not need to introduce themselves anywhere in the world. So help me God. This person is indirectly saying that this uh, lady didn't make the name for herself. It is her father's name that she is living on because they, nobody really knows what she does. Do you know what I mean? So nobody can. No, there's not everybody can actually call her hustle. It is her father's name. She's married. She's not using her husband's last name. She's still using her father's name. That is her father's name. She's still using, and she's saying hustle so that you don't need to introduce yourself. But she's still living on her father's name. You know, I, I think that, you know, Christians should always ask themselves, will Jesus do this? Is this what Christianity is about? What is the meaning, the purpose of what I'm about to say or post or share? Right? Okay. The next one says, some of us have no one. Now only God we get. But she has her father. That's what that is saying. Debbie ha uh, Deborah has her father. Okay. And the next one said, can't remember seeing you hustle all your life. But then, daddy tried in giving you the best of life. You see that? The next one also said, hustle so your children won't need to introduce themselves. Basically, they are saying that she didn't hustle. It is her father's hustle. You know, it's her father's hustle that she's living on. This one says, what is the difference between children enjoying taxpayers' money and tight payers' money? So basically saying that, you know, uh, politicians, you know, their children are living on a uh, taxpayer's money. While pastors, their children are living on tight payers' money. Right? Okay. The next one says, which hustle you don't do? What hustling have you ever done? That's what that one is saying. And the next one says, God bless daddy and mommy. 
Compliment of the season, girl. Stay blessed. Okay. The next one says, Debra, now your papa make her possible for you. Anyway, you look good. The next one says, Debbie, are you hustling like this? Means basically, you know, uh, you are right though. You know, and um, another one, somebody posted this and said, contentment is natural wealth. Luxury is artificial poverty. That is what I was basically actually saying. That, you know, Christianity should be about contentment. That's what should be preached. I said it before. A lot of pastors don't preach contentment anymore. In fact, a lot of them are actually promoting this life of a uh, show off and all of that. You see them show off and they brag and say, I remember, I remember when I started, I remember when I started the ministry. I only had one car. I only had the bicycle. Look at me now, I have 10 cars. Look at me now, I have private jet. Look at, they are now the braggadobias of society. You know what I mean? But I must. <laughs> this one says avoid every temptation to throw punches at anyone these remaining days of 2023 people are really hungry you see that's why some of these kind of posts are insensitive especially in a country like this where people that are the toughest hustlers are still poor if you talk about hustling go and look at the truck pushers in the marketplace and their labor rules that's your bad word those ones that carry load on, women that carry load on their heads they're hustling yet they are poor right okay he said, um, people are really hungry, are caught re on vacation. Make who gets here, make it here. Okay. The next one says, you're not supposed to talk this thing. It means she shouldn't say something like this. You, she should know better. That's what I think that comment is saying. Okay. This one says, is this ought to come from a supposedly minister of the gospel? Seriously, it's beginning to be awful. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this one said, this one said, she will be lawyer. Which court case she done hustle to win? We introduce, win, we introduce her. She's supposed to be a lawyer, but she's not even practicing. That's what this person is saying. Right? You know, I said, make nobody push me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Make, <laughs> sorry. Make nobody push me to write waiting go and go take vex for me. May, let, nobody should push me to write something that would be offensive to God and God will be angry at me, right? That's what she said. She said, all you need to do is to pray for those struggling so as to make it in life. <laughs> Another comment says, this is the issue we have in this country. The rich ones see the poor, whoa. The rich ones see the poor ones as lazy people. That's why they never make it. Deborah Paul Enneche, she's even using her father's first name and her father's last name. Where is her husband's name there now? She's married. Why is she not using her mother is not using her mother's last name. Her mother is using her father's last name, but she is not using her own marriage uh, or her own marriage last name or her husband's last name. She's holding on to her father's name and she's speaking about uh, not needing to introduce yourself, right? It's grace, not hustle. That's what this comment said to her. Okay, this comment says, I don't know your family that much, and it could be you hustled with daddy and mommy before coming to light. Where's the hustle? She was a kid when the parents blew. I mean, when you say blow, no pitching, they say blow. Parents don't blow, right? They say, I really don't have issue with you. So I have an issue when such posts, when such posts as this comes from any gospel minister. Our words ought to be seasoned by the Holy Spirit and not just to alter a supposed statement. That even the worldly people uses the statement. This is the Instagram influencers kind of post. Honestly, he said, "Sorry, the statement does not carry the message of Christ. And if an unbeliever should see this, it will ripple them from Christ." This one says, "Thank God for your father. This, please, this narrative isn't for you. Your father made it possible for you." Okay. This one, I'm going to read this last one. Now you guys can read the rest if you want. This one says, "At least drop a quote that will reduce the pains Nigerians are going through at the moment." Social media is good, but you must be wise while using it, especially when you are a public figure. Drop all this show up and concentrate in the ministry God has called you to. I saw that post and I saw all those dragging and the whole story is here and there, and I wanted to share it. At the end of the day, it's quite, to be honest, it's quite sad that, you know, someone that is privileged to be in a position where, you know, um, they know how they got there. You know what I mean? And a lot of the people that pay the tithes and offerings that have made it possible for their families, you know, for these families to have this kind of lives, 
when they watch what are they seeing are they getting messages of saying oh you guys are down there i'm up here or are they getting messages that will uplift, messages that will uplift them and keep them in the faith i don't know i saw that i wanted to share with you guys as always do you think you know what she said there's nothing wrong with it or would you say that no that was not right for a pastor's daughter that's supposed to be i think they say she's a minister now she says she's singing in the church um you know do you agree that it is not right for a so-called minister you know to be writing something like that i don't know what your opinions are as always whatever your opinions are please leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye